y'all. Welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have another unboxing from Mary's Diamonds. And you may have seen this already from somebody else, but you haven't seen it from me. And I want to work on this one um, sometime this summer, which now it's the end of July. So I need to go ahead and get this done. And it's also going to help me get over some of the confetti heavy canvases I've been working on just to kind of clear my mind and just to be able to just diamond paint, not have to think and be able to do something fairly quickly. So I decided to get this one out of my stash and I want to get it kitted up um, soon as well. With Mary's Diamonds, um, Della Art, Dana Cole did keep the same box that they had before. Um, they did add Mary's Diamonds on here and then also they're going to have their socials and on the back it's going to tell you how to diamond paint if you do not know how to and on the other side of this box it is going to show you what is in the box and i love this because i can put this up on my my counter and in my craft room i know exactly what this is I'm trying to get it where to focus a little bit better and this is poseidon this is something different than i've ever done before I did purchase this when I went to the retreat. I saw it and wanted to go ahead and get it because it goes really well with Ariel that um, I will be working on sometime soon as well. And this is a 50 by 60 centimeter and I did get this in round. Mary's does give you the option of choosing between square and round. And so I did choose a round for this one. So let's look at the drills and then also let's look at our toolkit and we also have some stickers look how pretty this is going to be this is going to be absolutely stunning of Poseidon and this is licensed from Everescence and it is also if you look underneath here to look for painting diamond painting accessories you can go to bellaartdaynicole.com I have several of hers and love all of her accessories, especially um, all of her trays. This has 40 colors and it does give you the, the stickers here and they're all ready, ready for you to go. All you have to do is peel them and then either put them on your bags if you like to work out of baggies or you can put them in containers, which is what I prefer to do. I love this large photo. I will cut this out, put this in my logbook, and I have to get working on my logbook. I am very, very behind, but at least I do have a, a picture here. And this does have four ABs in it, which um, we'll look at shortly. Okay, with the toolkit, take all of this out. And you do get a tray, a Bella Art Dana Cold tray. I don't know why mine's not here. I already had the box open. I may have already taken it out, but it's a white tray. You also um, get some tweezers. These are the pointy Sharpie kind, so be really careful you don't stab yourself. You also get a pin. It has a single placer on one end. This is a two placer on the other, and they also give you two other placers that you can include if you want to switch that out. They give you a little squishy so it helps your hand give you some random washi. That's really pretty. That reminds me of Christmas. I'm going to put that up for some of my Christmas canvases, and then they give you the blue wax. Make sure you do take the plastic off of your wax so that you will be able to stab your pin and put your wax in. They have three little plates of wax here. Put those back in. Okay, and we have the drills. Sorry for the crinkling. We'll get to the canvas shortly. With the drills, 
And because it's Poseidon, it's going to be darker colors. And, and I'm okay with that. The drills come in baggies. Let me show you. They're in order, too. So on the, that's a big bag of 3750. So on their baggies, they have the Ziploc bags. This is number 28, which corresponds to number 28 on your table. It is 3750. That is your DMC number. If you like to work out of baggies, all you got to do is look over here, find 3750, and you can just take that off, stick that onto your bag, and boom, you're ready to get started. For me, it's not that easy because I like to use containers. I love to kit up. I really enjoy the kitting up process. So I just go ahead, take everything out of my baggies and put those in containers. And I will include a video where I did kit up so you can see what my process is like. Of course, everyone's process is different. You can do however you like. If you like working out of baggies and you're ready to go save you some time. There's a lot of colors here that have more than one bag. Like here is 823. Here's another bag of 823. Just glancing at this, I don't see much static. But who knows? Um, because I am always, always, always fighting with static. But the last couple of kits I did, static was not bad at all. So maybe when I go to kit this one up, the static will not be horrible, but I'm looking at something that just makes me want to run. Um, three tens. If you know, guys, you know, there's two huge bags of three ten. And I'm glad I have rounds, but three tens, they are, they are black. And so sometimes 310s can be kind of hard to work with. And if there's going to be any bad drills, you usually are going to see them more in the darker colors, especially in the 310s. These are full bags. Uh, just looking at it, I don't see any problems, but I will let you guys know once I get started. I'm really wanting to start on this. I'm almost finished with one of my kits. And Part of my reward to myself is to start on this one. I cannot wait to start on this one. I'm also going to bling it up more than what is on here. I'm even making a list, making a list of what I'm going to do. I don't usually do that, but on this one, I thought, you know, it's gonna be so pretty to bling this up, bling his scepter up. I already have um, some drills that will be perfect for that. And then also there are some ABs in his little horns here. So on that, um, I don't think I'll add anything else, but I just love this. The background's gonna be a lot of color blocking and normally I am not a color blocky person. I just steer away from color blocking as far as I can run. I just stay away from it but I need color blocking in my life right now in a desperate, desperate way. And we will go over that on Thursday whenever we um, look at my month in review and I'll go over why that confetti is just about to wear me down. But until then, we will just keep working on the confetti because I'm not quite done with the kit that has all the confetti. So let's look at the ABs and also wanted to mention that with Mary's on the table, there's a table at the bottom on the left and it is facing me. There is a table on the bottom right that is reverse. So I'm one of those flippers and I flip around. I'm constantly moving my canvas around to work on whatever works best for me. So if I need to use a table, if I'm not sure on a particular color or I'm not sure on a particular symbol what it is, I can look here in my table, I can see it now. So that's definitely helpful. 
And this one's not a huge canvas. I don't know if I even said what size it was. I'm so excited about this. It's a 50 by 60 centimeter. So that's a really good size for me right now. Um, I've been working on so many large ones that 50 by 60 seems like a little small one, especially with all of this color blocking, like all of this color blocking means that you're using the same color in a small area. Um, all of his body here, that's going to be the same color. All of that, a lot of this blue here, all of the blue background pretty much is going to be the same color and especially all of this down here. So it's going to be very nice and refreshing. I also looking at his eyes. I absolutely love his eyes. I have some quad cubes that I may try and see if they're going to look right there or I may even put some crystals there. We shall see, but I am going to be blinging this up. I usually don't do that. So for me to think about blinging up in a very big way, that's really good for me. So let's look at the ABs. As I said, there are four ABs. Sorry for the crinkling yet again. I shouldn't have closed this. There's not very many ABs. I have to say that there's really not very many on, even though you get four, there's only a handful. But have no fear. I have Tmall that I can contact and I can order more if I need to, but I have plenty of crystals and plenty of rhinestones. I have plenty of ABs. So I am ready for this one. But here is number 37. Again, it's just a handful. There's just not that much in there. And that is going to be the equal sign. And that is actually sprinkled around through some of his little body part down here. Um, and so there's it's just very barely sprinkled in there. So that's the equal sign. Then we have number 38, which is the up arrow, and that is sprinkled. I just saw this one, it took me forever to find it. That is sprinkled around the background some, and especially up at the top. Um, we have this one. It's more of a pinky skin tone. I was a little concerned at first because I thought, surely this isn't going to be in his face or in his skin. And it's not, it's actually up the top through here. So we'll see those. And then number 40, this one is sprinkled throughout his hair. So it's gonna be down through here, this long lock there. All of that is going to be ABs. I'm not sure about that because it's so close to his face, but um, we'll definitely see there's not any other ABs that's in his skin or in his eyes, but I think that he is going to look magnificent with the additional ABs that I put in. I do have some black ABs that I thought about adding to the bottom of this, but I am not really a fan of black ABs, so I don't think I will use them but definitely I'm going to use some in his hair. I could even add some more blue streaks in his hair if I wanted to. Um, I can also um, add, I will definitely add to his eyes. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. I haven't really done very much with green eyes, but um, there's always a first time. If I don't like it, I can just take the, the ABs out or I can take the crystals out and then I can replace them with whatever I want to. But I do enjoy looking at really good quality renderings. And I love how Mary's is coming into their own already. They have such a variety. And I like how they give you the option of round or square. When Nicole asked me if I would like to do a sneak peek, which I'll also include that um, at the top of the eye for you guys, that one um, was on a princess. And she asked if I prefer round or square. And so I told her round. So I cannot say anything about their squares. I'm assuming that their squares are really good. I would imagine that they would be because their rounds are excellent. 
I will definitely be hitting this up soon. You will be seeing this on my channel and also underneath Instagram as I start to work my way through this. But this is one of my smaller ones that I'm adding to my rotation for August. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.